Welcome to Niger BBB guys. Today I am doing Edo style egusi soup. There really isn't much difference from how the Edo's cook it and how you know from how they cook it and how the other parts of the country except for these parts, the part where you pound. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor because I'm really tired. I'm a little under the weather and you know cooking helps me relax. So my sister is always telling me to vlog about my cooking and I decided that perhaps I should so, and today I'm making a do style egusi soup yes I know you guys will be surprised when it's a do style their own is just very different and nice and you know it forms the lumps I think that's the difference so this is my egusi that I blended in the market I blended it with crayfish and dawa dawa because i'm an evil girl dawa dawa goes in every soup except some other ones like oha and unubu and on the fire i have and on the fire i have my meat and momo and okunko cooking um yeah so the meat was frozen because i bought it a while ago and then the ovens just came so this is boiling now i have black pepper i have salt and i have seasoning and of course also chopped onions so this is the egg i'm going to pound this egg till it gives me life and i mean it literally i'm sitting on the floor guys i'm too tired so i have to pound it till it forms lumps it will bring out oil to form lumps. It will take a while. It will take a while. Patience and love. Yeah, but. You know, I'm not the best. I'm not the one who's going to have the well, most well kept house. But there's always going to be food in my freezer. So I learned this from a church member. While growing up, my mom and her friends used to do this thing that during festivities they would exchange food, you know, friends, church, neighbors, they would cook and give each other. So there's this woman that used to bring out this, she used to bring this badass egusi soup. And my mom really loved it. So one Christmas, she was like, Abel, come teach me, oh. Come teach me how to cook them. Because she's an adult woman. So the woman sent her daughter, her first daughter. And as usual, I was in the kitchen with my mom. Because I've always loved to cook. I've been cooking since I was eight. So, I watched her. She just said, give me mortar and pisto. Like, I ah, was this one doing with mortar and pisto. Now, Igbo people wouldn't go through the stress of pounding the egusi. They just buy ulo and put inside oh i should have done that well i didn't it makes us you know come together more that's how the abia people achieve their own but the edo people we pound this thing till all the oils have come out all of them have to come out and then they will take their time and form it into balls and let it cook and then you just get that consistency so let me see if i have what i want see it's already coming like this i think i should should i still do more maybe if i want it to really stay together i think i'm going to do the abia style next time the secret ingredient is that tomatoes fried in palm oil it could be fresh tomato it could be sachet tomato it could be thin tomato just blended tomato fried in oil gives you that you know, sweet tomato taste you see? and I'm going to be adding this to my stock and then lumping my 
pounded it will see to the size I want and everything will go into my stock Okay, so this is the last of the egusi see yes i know it looks darker i know it looks darker that's partly because of the dawa dawa it has you know gone around and then because we've gotten all the oils out see how oily the mortar is then you do this That's the end, that's the last one. And then they're, it's ready to go into the pot. So you see it go. So this is my stock. In my stock, I already have my beef, my pomo, my okoroko, my dry fish. I know you can't see it. And now I'm about to add because you remember that I've already put my tomato fried in palm oil and onions and then this it's not much it's just you know for a couple of days for me and my kids just to just eat me twice so now you turn so that it's immersed in the stock And then you cover and allow to boil this is after five minutes you can see that it's no longer as dark and it's slowly melting so this is after another five minutes now I'm going to do woo -woo to the answer I'm going to use my spoon to cut in the middle of the egusi lumps now this means that the lumps are almost halfway cooked and to preserve the shape see inside is not well cooked outside is cooked it will preserve the shape it doesn't all break see you see that the egusi has this really nice lumpy feel you can't tell the egusi from the meat i can just take one I'm eating this with fufu. I can't waste this opportunity. So I still have to leave it a little while so I can cook properly. Hello, Agusi. How are you? See, it's all nice and dry and cooked. I'm so happy to see you, baby. Are you happy to see me? Yo, yo, yo. And because I am a typical Igbo girl, all this is going in. Now, this is a combination of ugu leaves and uziza leaves. That should be enough leaving. You know, so I can live long and prosper. That's the Igbo way. That's the place to live inside our soup. You must not be able to differentiate from the soup and the leaf. Oh, smells divine, guys. Smells divine. Now, I just have to put a little salt to taste. And I'm good. So, final, final presentation coming up. Consistent with strangulation. Which is unlikely. As you can see, the time is 18.50. So, it's not yet 7.00. I'm not exactly in violation of the time. I must eat before seven every day. So come and join me. Okay, so this is the final food. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I have to start pinching. Um, of course, follow me on all my social media platforms. Sorry, guys. I can't even start eating. My house is scattered. Everything is scattered. I just want to sit down and eat this food in peace before it's seven before so i don't feel too guilty so bye-bye for all the information you need go down yes i'm kind of top of my fridge <laughs>